Alright everybody, I got another movie review coming your way. Today we're going to be talking about the newest spy action comedy to hit the ears, starring Kate McKinnon and Mila Kunis, directed by Susanna Fogley, and it is The Spy Who Dumped Me. Now to be right up front, this film I was not expecting very much from, because the marketing for this film made it look like it was going to be complete garbage. I had no hope for this movie whatsoever. And... This movie surprised me in the best way possible. Like, I got a lot, a lot of enjoyment out of The Spy Who Dumped Me. And if you guys don't know what the film is about, it's about a girl who's dating an international spy, certain things happen, and now her and her best friend get roped into a world of espionage and murder and gunplay and everything that comes with being a spy movie. Like I said, this film was a surprise from top to bottom. It still has a lot of problems for sure. But, the chemistry between Kate McKinnon and Mila Kunis is not one of them. I really enjoyed the chemistry that they had. It provided some of the best laughs that were inside of the movie. There's more to the comedy, though. The spy aspects that went along with the comedy with what these two women were seeing, it was very, very funny to see them enter a world of something they're just not used to in the least. It was really, really funny, really enjoyable to see. And I could really buy that Kate McKinnon and Mila Kunis in this film that they had been best friends since they were very young. It's really, really cool to see. And Kate McKinnon, you know, I haven't thought the best of her. I think she's great in SNL, but after after that remake of the Ghostbusters, which she was the best part in, it seemed like she was just coasting and she was just being over the top. And while she is over the top in this movie, it seems that her over top level of comedy, it really worked for some of the scenes that was, she was in. But for the most part, she has really toned it back. In fact, there are a few scenes in this movie that she gave the funniest delivery and the funniest lines and the funniest jokes in the entire movie. However, comedy aside, I have a really funny relationship when it comes to the spy who dumped me. Because although I enjoyed the comedy elements in here, the thing that is superior across the board is Susanna Fogley's direction and the spy elements in here. I want Susanna Fogley to direct a James Bond film because this film, all the action scenes and all the spy elements in here, it was very James Bond-ish. It kind of felt like Casino Royale or Skyfall, especially the action scenes. This film is rated R and it's a very hard R and all of that comes from the brutal violence and action that is in this movie. It's intense, it's bloody, it's gritty. You know, the kind of stuff that we got from the Daniel Craig James Bond films. That's the kind of action that you get in this film. When the action hit, it hit hard, be it a car chase, a gunfight, or people just being tortured. Every spy element in this film worked for me, and it's where I got the most enjoyment out of this movie. However, like I said, there are some issues. This happens with a lot of comedies, but considering this is a spy comedy, a lot of times, the the mixture of the comedy with the intense action of it being a spy action comedy, it didn't really mesh with me. It didn't really feel like it worked very well. And a lot of the comedy just fell flat, in my opinion, even though there was a lot I liked. And at the very beginning of the film, it was really strange. Because when we went between Mila Kunis and Kate McKinnon and what they were up to, and what was happening in the spy espionage world, it seemed like there was this really, really gray, dull, saturated color that filled the entire screen. Except, after that beginning 15 minutes is over, that color palette, that color correction, and, and that saturation, it's just nowhere else to be found in the film. And, I, that stuff doesn't usually bother me, but here it definitely did because it was just so jarring that it's at the very beginning of the film and then it's nowhere else to be found. And there are certain parts in this movie that just downright do not make any sense to me. Number one, if you see a character die on screen in like a, a theater type performance scenario, why on earth would we expect that an audience who might be watching this thing to cheer? I mean, hypothetical scenario, but I mean, it's those kinds of moments in here that just make no sense for me. But guys, as a whole, like I said, the best word to describe the spy who dumped me 
It's, it's a surprising film, a very enjoyable film at that. But like I said, the reason why I got most of the enjoyments is I went into this expecting a full-on comedy, and what I got was a very, very intense, what I consider to be a spy thriller with some some successful comedy elements in there. But for the most part, the comedy elements, eh, they were okay. But like I said, the star of this is Susanna Fogley and the action spy elements that she put in throughout here. That was great. And I will end up saying that the spy who dumped me is a casual watch. All right, guys, and it's time for me to ask you about the spy who dumped me. But before we get into that, you should know that right up above here, you can very easily find, very easily find my social media handles. And if you want to see more of my movie reviews that I've done in the year of 2018, click right over there on the top bar. There should be a playlist there. You can also find the playlist of the episodes of the Sweet Film Podcast that me and my buddy, Mr. Zach Pope, did. It's a show where we go deep, surface layer stuff, we talk everything movies so if you like my opinion of what I had to say here you should be sure to click on that for sure but as I stated guys what is your opinion on the spy who dumped me have you seen it did you like it do you hate it what is your opinion and what is your favorite most surprising spy film or just most surprising film in general whatever your thoughts may be leave them in the comment section below so we can get a conversation started and if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more click right there and subscribe and become part of the fray of nerds who love cinema you all have a fantastic day